Hey there everybody, I know you're interested in getting some Zoom backgrounds and for those of you who are in the GCDS community, I have great news. We have some photos of campus that you can use that are really high def professional photos and I'm going to show you how to throw them in the background of your Zoom call. So at the bottom right you can see I'm on a Zoom call and on the background of my screen I'm in this Smug Mug gallery. Smug Mug is a website where you can upload photos. Um, I will be putting that password to unlock this uh, gallery in an email that accompanies this video. However, if you're finding other pictures that you want to use, the same steps will apply. All you need to do is download those pictures to your computer. What I want to show you is on Smug Mug, if you want to download these, um, this photo album, you can press on the right hand side, there's a uh, arrow with a line to download all. You enter your email address here and then press send email and you'll receive a message when, you're, uh, when the photos are ready to download. So you download that folder, here it is. On a Windows and on a Mac, you'll need to extract this folder. You can see it's a zip folder. So on a Windows, I can right click and press extract all. And now these photos are in a new folder. You can see this is the zipped one, and here is the folder with the actual photos. I can delete the zip folder when I'm done with it and just leave this one with the campus photos. So let's get these photos in the background of Zoom. Now I'm going to press the arrow next to stop video. And there's an option here that says choose virtual background. When I choose virtual background, I get some default options. You might not see anything at all here. So I'm going to press the plus sign and it says add image or add video. You can actually add moving videos behind you. Uh, for example, oh, I actually don't have it here anymore, but uh, I had a fish tank. Um, here's one of their defaults with the beach. Um, if I press the plus sign and add image, I can navigate to my downloads folder and then to that folder that has all these GCDS photos. So let's say I want to have this photo be in my gallery. I can actually add all kinds of different photos. So if I want to add the entire album, I've actually not tried this yet. No, I can't select them all. Can I select them all at the same time? No, you're going to have to go one at a time. But in any event, you can choose them. And once you've chosen them once, they'll stay in your virtual background gallery here. So I'll close this window and you can just see what it looks like behind me. Now, you might notice there's a little area right here where it's not quite coming through. Everybody's uh, background is going to look a little different. So I'm going to go back to choose virtual background. There's this checkbox that says, I have a green screen. And if you check that mark, you can actually choose the manually pick the color of the background uh, to detect it. Mine was pretty good, but I just want to show you. I clicked that um, box. I clicked this box right here and everything goes back to normal. My mouse is sort of trapped in here. So if my whole background were the same color, like let's say I want to change my shirt to be the background, I can click my shirt and now Zoom is going to try and identify whether or not that's the background. This isn't working very well in my scenario because of my background. So I'm going to uncheck this box. And Zoom does a pretty amazing job of detecting what should be green screened out anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this. And for all those GCDS folks, the password will be coming in the email shortly uh, with the SmugMug Gallery.